So it looks like we're going to have a forfeit here coming out at 60 pounds for M2. And Bagdonis is going to win on a forfeit. 48 to 12 now. Bagdonis with the forfeit win. And we are going to get our next bout here at 65. Does it look like another forfeit? Looks like potentially no. No, we got a guy. We got a guy. 65 pounds. 65 is going to be Matt Dingus. Owen Rear. Rear Dingus. 48 to 12. 65 pounds. 48 to 12. I'm two training centers. So Dingus. Rear. 65 pounders on the mat. National Middle School Duels 2020. Match is brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, Defense Up, you have built. M2 Training Center cruising here in the round one of the gold pool. And what will happen is there will be three rounds of pool wrestling. Pool champions wrestle pool champions. Then there will be a crossover of the undefeated teams. If there is no undefeated team, I'm guessing there's criteria. Like most wins, or I don't know, stuff like that that makes sense. And nice front headlock there by Dingus. Oh, nice. Oh, that was a sick attack. Like a head outside shot, kind of. Oh, my goodness. This is high level stuff. These are 65 pound kids. Max Dingus. Oh, my goodness. Get some defense wipes. You built the animal. Wow. That was incredible. Rear, he's still got Rear's foot though. He's got to be careful with Rear's toe. Been hanging on to that for a while. In a long time, they might ding him for stall. He's still hanging on the foot. I love how this guy's wrestling. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't see all these weird stall calls, and he is letting him wrestle. Shout out to you, official. Shout out to you. I'm gonna call you by name. Doing the job. Would you gentlemen agree this officiating is really good? Like really good. So the 2020 edition of the National Middle School Duels is Rears trying to get hand control and out. Down 2-0 here to Dingus. Training center dominating the bout so far. 110 left here in the second. 65 pounds. National Middle School duels, and I believe we have 70 and 75 left. And that will do it. Rear gonna get that one. Gonna be down 2-1 now here. As the nice right-handed head inside single leg for rear. Ding is doing a good job. Oh, he cut the cross. That is beautiful! <laughs> wow! He's got him on his hip. Two takedown! So Veer, after getting dominated in the first, storming back here, down three to two to Max Dingus of M2 Training Center. Like all these matches have been competitive. M2's just come up on the, the right side of all the real competitive ones. Besides Blades at 100 pounds. And that's how things can look real lopsided, but you know what? When you're really good, you win all the really close matches anyway. Watch a Penn State do it. They win all the close matches. It's not a mistake. I guess, coincidentally, all these kids in and train. Oh, there's a nice tilt for Rear. And Rear is going to pull two on that. And Rear's going to run his lead up 5-2 in the third after getting hit with a dirt takedown, a nasty takedown. So this M2 Training Center is in central Pennsylvania within 45 minutes of the uh, campus at Penn State. It's closer to that than, than 45 minutes. And now Davis is going to run around here and get a takedown. Rear re 
penetrates, head outside, shot 110, 5-2 lead, rear. How far is M2 Training Center from uh, State College? 20 minutes? So it's only 20 minutes, I said 45, it's only 20 minutes. M2 Training Center is 20 minutes from State College. So I'm guessing most of these kids attend Penn State duels and have been since little kids. So when you see a team win how Penn State wins, they don't always just steamroll everybody. When it's a close dogfight duel, they usually win the bouts. That's what it looks like watching the M2 training center. It is, it's fun to watch. 35 seconds left, third period here, 5-2 lead, Cohen rear for net train, Matt Ding Max Dingus of the M2 training center came out, hit one of the best takedowns of the day, and it's kind of shut down since then. So, Rear just showing he's got, there's a lot of fight left in the dog, man, you love it. Kid gets dominated for a period, doesn't drop his head and give up, keeps wrestling. He's in on a low shot again. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you don't know that the M2 Training Center loves the foot pass, ooh, he's checking him hard there. Gonna go stalemate. And rear, nine seconds left. Rear thinks he's done, he's not. Nine seconds left. Thing is, he defends, I like that. High wrestling IQ here for Cohen Rear, folks. Holy smokes, is that a high wrestling IQ. Doesn't get that last takedown, but he's gonna win this thing. Five to two in a dog fight. After getting dominated in the first, does Cohen Rear. He gets Burnett trained some more points up on the board.